everyone, it's Brittany Baylin, and today I wanted to make a hair dyeing video, so I asked you guys on Twitter. I did one of those little polls, and I wanted to know what color I should dye my hair, and you guys picked lavender, and it turned out a little bit more pinky lavender, but I am in love with it, and this video is a very chill kind of dyeing video. There's no special filming, editing. I just wanted to be really natural about the process, so I dye my extensions and my hair, I cut and I style them, and I answer some questions that are frequently asked throughout the video. I really hope you like it, and it's pretty long, so I'm gonna stop rambling, and let's just hop it. Wait! Oh my god, I found the chair. I am not smooth at all. What I will be using today is the Luxure Lux hair extensions, and I have clip-ins and they are a little bit different color than my hair because I still have some pastel pink faded out in here, but I'm going to fix that. I know how, 99% sure we're gonna nail this. Here is the hair, it is amazingly long. Look at you, very soft and I like how it doesn't get very thin at the ends. I run into hair extensions having that issue all the time. And these are 100% human hair, so they're going to take dye very well. And I'm just gonna add like a little extra pink in these. And probably, maybe a little bit of a magenta, so we can match what I have going on here. I know, it's scary, right? Don't be scared, don't be scared. For hair dye, I'm going to be using the Pravana pastel colors and I'm using two of the luscious lavender and one of the two cute coral and a little bit of arctic fox virgin pink and if I want to dilute it I'm going to kind of eyeball it but I dilute with the arctic fox arctic mist diluter. Bobo, are you gonna help mommy dye her hair? Are you? All right. <laughs> so distracted by a pug. I just did a whole tube of the luscious lavender and now I'm going to start mixing in some of this. And again, I just kinda eyeball it, so. Ooh, yes, there we go. So much happening. Now to go in with some diluter. That's not a good noise. I'm doing this just because I need more hair dye. And I'm just, I don't have any more luscious lavender. I wanna use the other one for the hair extensions. So we're making it work. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the color that I have come up with. I just, I really like when a purple has a little bit of pink to it. It's time to apply the first layer. I start from the roots and then cover my whole head with just probably this much of the root. And then I'll go through layer by layer and cover all the rest to the very end. That just makes sure I get every single section. I don't like to leave anything untouched here, and let's just kind of do this as like a talk through. I feel like every tutorial for hair dyeing I've done has been music and time lapse, and don't get me wrong, I love that, but I'll talk to you guys. All right, let's do this. Does anyone remember my very first hair dyeing tutorial, the pastel purple one, where <laughs> I'm like about to apply it and I look so scared? Oh, how things have changed. How things have changed. You know, still, sometimes stuff doesn't go as planned. Hair isn't, you know, it's, it's science, but it's also a little bit unpredictable. I've had my hair done by a professional, and they're like, why is your hair lifting? <laughs> like, my hair was blonde, and she put bleach on it, and it started lifting blue. <laughs> she was like, your hair is turning blue with bleach. I was like, there must be some layer of pigment locked in deep that was like released. Or no, my hair was orange and it was turning blue. I don't know. Stuff happens. And then I'll use the little brush tip to start making sections. And I know I'm not wearing gloves. I, please wear gloves. Don't be like me. I. I should listen to my own advice. It's not good to have these chemicals on your skin um, for an extended period of time, especially if you dye your hair all the time like I do, but I'm so used to doing it without gloves that, and I like to feel my hair, and I, and I haven't got dye on it yet. I'm pretty good about not doing that until the very end, and then I wash it off immediately, but I mean, that's not really a good excuse. I should be wearing gloves. Also, to answer another question that I always get in my hair dyeing videos, 
or just in general, people want to know how I let my color fade out or get out of my hair so quickly so I can dye my hair all the time and that some people have trouble with the dye staying in. Um, I use temporary dyes that do last a really long time, Havana lasts a really long time, Arctic Fox does, and I don't really have a secret, I do have a routine. Uh, normally I get my hair bleached every eight weeks. So my process is that, I guess it's not too confusing, I get my hair bleached, and I just bleach the roots. I never go over overlap. I very rarely do a bleach wash. So after I get my hair bleached, I get my hair bleached professionally, just the roots, as I said. And then I'll usually do a color on top. Sometimes I'll just leave it blonde and then I'll go home and I'll do my color. And the color, no matter how bright or anything, it usually fades out almost, like I would say 80 to 90% within four weeks. And then that gives me another four weeks until I bleach my hair again to do a color. And I tend to pick a color that goes easily over the faded color. So say if I did an orange, I would go to a pink or I would go to a red. Or if I did a green, I would go to a blue. Or if I did a pink, I could go to a purple or I could go to a magenta. Or, you know, I kind of just like feel it out. I see where my hair is. Um, so this is... What this is, is that pink from two weeks ago. So that faded quickly. So after I do this color, I'll probably have it for about four weeks, and then it'll be faded enough that when I bleach my roots and I just wash the bleach out, um, it'll naturally just pull away any color to the point when it's just platinum blonde again. Uh, I have no tricks. I wash my hair every other day. I try not to wash it too much, but I do like, you know, to change my hair a lot, so I do want the color out. Other than that, that's it. Just, you know, be patient, enjoy the gradual fadation, <laughs> that's not a word, of, of the, the hair color leaving, um, and develop a routine that works for you if you want to change your hair up a lot. Um, other, other than that, you know, no secrets here. No secrets. I have an itch. And like magic, my hair is now fully in dye. And now I'm going to move on to the extensions. So I'm going to mix pretty much what I mixed. I'll show you guys. What am I doing? For the extensions, I mixed the Too Cute Coral, the pastel lavender color, and the Arctic Fox pink. And I just have the base, what was left over from my hair. And then I will dilute it if necessary it will be but just play by eyeball play by ear my main tip for the extensions would be to just do one side start with the side that's going to show to the world and then just flip them over and do the other side and I just start from the top and work my way down and once you have something that looks like this just gently pick up and flip Woo! and continue the process. Magic! Oh, sorry, I hit my dog in the face. It has not been magic, it has been <laughs> four hours of washing and blow drying my hair in the extensions, but I am in love with the color and the extensions look great. Let me grab some of them. Um, they do look a little off on camera, they look more pink, but in real life they look spot on. Um, and what I'm gonna do is put them in and then cut them. Why do they look so much more pink? I swear in real life they match. It's the lighting. Um, the magic! I trimmed these. I probably could trim them a little more. I just did like a really quick blood cut. But I'm gonna curl them and see if I like the length because I'll always wear extensions curled. It just helps everything blend better. Look at all the holes. Oh, just look at that angle. So my space. Like this. And we are done. Here's the finished look. I have fully cut the extensions, curled them with a one inch barrel, and I am obsessed. I feel like they blend really, really well. The hair extensions took really nicely, and we have lost all natural light. I have filmed this video over the past eight hours. 
This did not take a short amount of time, so this video is probably going to be really long, but I hope that this helps you. I hope that you learned something or you were entertained. Let me know if you like the hair in the comments down below, or you can like this video, or you can do both. If you are not already subscribed, please subscribe, and if you would like to follow me on Instagram or Twitter or Tumblr or Facebook, I'll put that information all in the video description. And I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!